Hey what's going on guys it's this kid and we're going to go over the final mounts that we have to go over for protoform synthesis and that's going to be the buffinid mounts. So just to explain we're going to go over how to get the specific lattice that you need to get the type of mounts that we're talking about which is the buffinid lattice. We're going to talk about how to get genesis modes in general. There's one farm that I usually go to and we'll go over that. The next thing is we're going to talk about the schematic that's needed for each mount and then the rare item that's needed for each mount as well. So first things first, the Bufinid Lattice, the best place to go for this is going to be the Sepulchre of the First One's Island. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to fly around and kill Accelerated Bufinids. On top of that, you have a chance to kill Gorkek, the rare frog that's on the same island. And not only do you have a chance to get the Bufinid Lattices from those frogs, you also have a chance to get a schematic that we're going to talk about in a second from those frogs as well. The next thing we'll talk about here is going to be Genesis modes, and like I said before, we've talked about it a couple times on this channel. Best place to go is going to be Genesis Fields. I have a video that kind of goes over the specific farm you could do there, but in general, you're going to the southwest part of Zerath Mortis over here and you are killing devourers that pop out of the portals. You pretty much just kill them as fast as possible. They have an infinite spawn rate, so once you kill them, they spawn out of the portal about one to two seconds after that. So you just keep killing them over and over and over. They have a chance to drop one or two Genesis motes, and simple as that, that's the easiest way to get them. So the first mount we're going to talk about is the gold plate buffinid and as far as the schematic that's what I was talking about before all you have to do is kill accelerated buffinids and those are going to be located on the east island that sepulchre the first one's island you go in circles and kill them they have about a three percent chance to drop the schematic so just keep farming them and you should get it eventually the rare item for gold plate buffinid is going to be bauble of pure innovation and that rare is going to be found in the back of exile's hollow or Farim's cave where you do the cipher the first one stuff. It's in the back left corner on top of a little bed. It's going to be a little purple shiny thing to click. If it's not there it does have a little bit of a spawn time so you can either wait for that or switch to war mode try and look for it there or you can sign up for different groups and realm hop. Either way, however you choose to get it, that is going to be the location at least for that rare item. The next mount we're going to be talking about is the Prototype Leaper. The schematic for this mount is going to be found in a chest called Forgotten Proto Vault, and that's going to be found on top of a mountain at these coordinates. The only thing that is pretty specific about this chest is it only appears when a world quest called Frogit is available. So if the world quest is not available, then you just cannot see the chest at all. So once you get that, you just fly up to the mountain and you can loot the chest and get the schematic. The only thing that I do have to say about this as well is there is a small spawn time. So if someone got it before you, you do have to wait maybe 10-15 minutes before it spawns again. The rare for Prototype Leaper is going to be Tools of Incomprehensible Innovation, and this is going to drop from Leuvim in Sepulchre of the First Ones. Not super hard to get, but it is only a 3-4% to chance to drop, so a little bit of a rare drop, but pretty straightforward to get it in general. Next mount we're going to have is the Russet Buffinid. Now this specific mount is the reason why I chose to keep all of these mounts as the last video that I'm making for Protoform Synthesis. The reason for that is the schematic is going to come from the Paragon box from the Enlightened Reputation. So if you don't know what that is, after you hit Exalted, you have to grind up an extra 10,000 rep and you get a box with a bunch of stuff in it. Usually in the past it's been 3,000 gold or so. There's been some mounts that have come from it, but specifically for the Enlightened in this patch, it's going to be the Protoform Synthesis schematic for this mount. Also, the schematic is not a 100% chance to drop from the Paragon box. It's around a 17% chance or so. So you may need to do this a few times before you get the schematic from the box. What is nice about this mount though is the rare item is going to be called Lens of Focused Intention. This is going to be from Velo, the Enlightened Quartermaster. All you have to do is spend 300 gold and be revered with the Enlightened to get this. And at this point, you should be exalted for that Paragon box anyway. So really just a free item here. And with that, that is really the three frog mounts that you can get from Protoform Synthesis. That would include Patient Buffinid since technically you can use Protoform Synthesis to make it, but it pretty much comes for free from a different quest line. So if you want a video for that, I can explain that. 
but very, very straightforward. You just do six quests daily and eventually you just get it for free. But with that being said, that's the last Proto Form Synthesis video I'm going to make. And I'll put all these into a playlist to make it very easy to watch, but we're going to move on to different things. So uh, with that being said, have a good rest of your day and uh, happy farming.